So here is a chart which is showing the uh, common and different features uh, that are occurring during the puberty in male and female of course. Fine. So some of the common features are like the hair growth. See you are at the age of adolescence. You must be observing it personally. This hair growth pattern varies uh, among different organisms, uh, different individuals. Right. Uh, generally, the hair growth is taking place under the arms, that is in the armpits, in both males and females. Then there is more ho uh, hair growth uh, over the limbs in the genital area. Then uh, uh, it is observed in males over the facial uh, uh, parts also, in the form of moustaches and the beard. Right. So, uh, this growth of the hair uh, is actually uh, it is an indication that the secondary growth is now beginning, right? Well, the how much hair growth is going to take place among different individuals, that uh, intensity, that frequency is going to vary. Fine. The second is the uh, characteristic which is observed in the skin. Uh, there is the pimple or the acne generation at this age, right? Uh, the skin becomes more and more oily. You know why is this so? This is because during the uh, puberty, there is the increased activity of the sweat and the sebaceous glands. These glands, they are present in the skin, right? And they become very, uh, very active at this age due to which there is the increased sweating, right? Now, of course, uh, uh, the sweating or the se uh, sebum which is produced or secreted by the sebaceous gland, it gets accumulated over the skin. Uh, if it is sweat, definitely it may evaporate, isn't it? But the traces which are left out or if let us say sebum is present over there, it comes in the uh, contact with some uh, uh, dust particles or some bacteria or some external uh, factors which are exposed to it. Then what will happen? There will be the formation of the acne or the pimples. Acne is actually the dead skin. Right, whereas pimples, you can see that there is a uh, minute uh, boils which are filled up with uh, uh, with some uh, liquid like pus or something. So the generation of these acne and pimples are common at this age. Even because of the sebaceous glands, the sebum which is secreted, these uh, uh, the skin becomes uh, oily. And again, this oily skin is one of the reasons that why the dust particles get stuck over the skin and causes the uh, such type of infections among them. The next feature is the fat deposition. Uh, you know where this fat deposition is more prominent among the boys and girls? You must be knowing, you are aware of these points. Let me just summarize. See, this uh, fat deposition actually uh, brings the change in the body shape. Shoulders, they generally get broadened as a result of this secondary growth. In case of the girls, the pelvic region, uh, that is the region below the waist, right, it becomes wider. Uh, in the case of uh, boys, the muscles of the body grow more prominently than in the girls. Uh, there is a breast development, which is more prominent in the girls or in the females. And these breasts, of course, it is required, it is associated with the mammary glands also. Right. So, this breast development is the muscular part, but under that, uh, inside that, there is the development of the mammary, mammary glands also, which in the case, or uh, in the uh, gestation, I'm sorry, uh, it is uh, post-pregnancy, it is secreting the milk. So, that is serving as a nutrition for the infants or the newborn babies. Uh, next common feature is the increase in height, which is not written here, but it is of course one of the important point. You know, this uh, uh, puberty or adolescence, it is characterized by the growth spurt. That means there is a rapid increase in the height and weight of the uh, boys as well as the girls. Uh, it is often seen that the rate of growth, it varies from person to person, but generally it is observed that the girls grow faster than the boys initially. But they both will reach their maximum height around 18 years of age. Uh, well, nowadays it is observed that the individuals which are having quite short height, they are undergoing some hormone therapy or something so as to increase their height. Uh, but of course, these uh, hormones which are taken from outside, they are, uh, I suppose, uh, they are not very good uh, to take because they disturb the normal hormone balance in our body. 
besides that uh, i can say that the high increase in height of a person is affected by two basic uh, things one is the growth hormones right uh, the hormones which are secreted by the pituitary gland so these growth hormones they specifically uh, and they uh, enlarge or they uh, increases the length of the bones of the limbs and this increase in the bones uh, in the length of the bones of the limbs it basically brings the increase in the height uh now this is quite clear that uh, if the bones are uh, uh, they are uh, uh, in increasing in their length then uh, they the new cells are being formed isn't it they need more energy at this age so as to satisfy this particular function of our body and for that of course the uh, the uh, individuals require nutritional food and the energy so a person should take care of a balanced diet of a diet of the of itself so as to uh, uh, just to fulfill this basic need further uh, there are some basic different features also which are developing among males and the females so that is in the case of male i have just mentioned previously the development of hairs in the form of mustaches and the beard besides that the maturation of testes take place uh testes they are the male gonads which are uh, actually uh, secreting the hormone testosterone so this is one of the function which is uh, taking place during the secondary growth uh for the all uh, this growth is uh, uh, controlled by the testosterone right uh during the, this puberty there is the enlargement and occasional erection of penis in the males uh penis is a male copulatory organ right uh, and this uh, organ it shows enlargement and uh, occasionally it is observed that it becomes erect and uh, it is uh, releasing or it is uh, just uh, ejaculating out some uh, liquid or fluid that is known as the semen the semen is containing the sperm so at this age there is a production of sperm in the male right besides this there is a deepening or cracking of voice also uh there is a change in the voice of the of the males of course this change in voice is also taking place in female but the pattern is quite uh, different in the case of uh, males it is a sort of cracking right uh, whereas the females they are showing the high pitch voice uh in the case of males there is the uh, outgrowth which is observed in the uh, throat region and that outgrowth is known as the adam's apple see here is this picture which is showing this protu uh, protruding uh, out uh, uh, structure which is known as the adam's apple right uh, basically it is a voice box or it is a larynx which is uh, which uh, which begins to grow at this age fine so this is the specific feature in the males but definitely in the case of girls also there is the change in the voice fine so girls are having high pitched voice whereas boys are having a deep voice Uh, well in the case of females there is a development of breast at this point i have already explained right besides this there is the maturation of ovary ovary is a female gonad which is responsible for the production of the uh, ovum right and besides that it is also secreting the sex hormones known as the estrogen and the progesterone so these hormones are bringing out the different changes in the females during the secondary growth at this age there is the beginning of menstrual cycle in the females uh, this menstrual cycle uh, basically you know what happens ovum which is produced by the female uh, it is going to fuse with the male gamete so as to produce the zygote and the zygote it will further form the embryo and is uh, 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 producing the new individual but this process is uh, it will take place all the time it is not necessary isn't it so what happens this uh, ovum which is produced here it is released out from the body if it is not fused with the uh, sperm see when they are produced if the uh, if the sperm is available it is going to produce the zygote but if the sperms are not available then these uh, ovum are getting uh, they it will get degenerated now besides this 
the estrogen has been produced right uh, this estrogen is uh, uh, it is increasing the thickness of the uh, uterus so uh, uh, if the uh, see if this uh, uh, pregnancy is not established during this period this extra uh, thick uh, thickness is again going to be deteriorated these cells which have been uh, uh, developed which have been produced here in the uterus even they will get shed away and due to this there is the release of blood also so this process the release of uh, unfertilized egg and these deposit uh, uh, these deteriorated tissues and the blood it is released out from the female's body it takes place every month so this cycling this release is known as a menstrual cycle however i'm going to explain this menstrual cycle quite in detail later but for now let's see that the another feature here is the darkening of skin near the nipples so this is the another feature which is observed among the females so now uh, beside these particular features uh, people or the individuals at this age they also show some mental or emo emotional changes right uh, there is a drastic change in their behavior Let's see what are these.